Hey guys, let's make a UV resin dog tag using Resin Rockers UV Resin. This is not a paid sponsorship, but I would like it to be. Now, I know I made one of these videos before, but let's talk about what you need. Silicone bowl, silicone mold, silicone tool with a silicone tip. This is a tool that was sent to me by, you guessed it, Resin Rockers. <laughs> Um, you're going to need these rings here that, well, I bought some of them from Resin Rockers and some of them from Amazon. The mold is from Resin Rockers. The cup is from Amazon. This tool is from Amazon. And along with the resin and the tools, you're going to need glitter and things, you know, clay pieces, right. things like that. Take it to resin, pour it into your silicone cup here. Yeah, I'm feeling that. a little purpley. We're going to use some of this chameleon purple. And we're just going to pour some in our resin. Now, once you stir it, you'll know whether or not you have enough or not. So you're going to carefully stir it. Now, you want to stir it really good. So we're going to pour it into our mold like so. And did I forget to mention... You need a UV light. This is from Amazon. If you guys ever have any questions, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. Now, I've also placed one of the rings here for extra reinforcement because my dog is a psycho. And as you can see here on this one, it's got a ring in there. Not that the resin's not strong. It is really strong. But you never know. Better safe Now, design. once you've got your resin in your dog tag, you want to use a toothpick or I'm going to use my Resin Rockers pointy tool and I'm going to stir it around a bit. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline the mold with this point to ensure that all those little bubbles around the edge and the bottom don't stay in there because if they do, it'll leave cracks in your, in your dog tag around the edges. Not cracks, but holes from the Bubbles, yeah, you know. Now, once I've stirred it up, you see there are a lot of bubbles on top here. No worries. Now, I know not, I know people told me not to use the heat, but it's the only thing I've found that I like. I just don't use the torch anymore. So now I'm gonna use the heat and I'm gonna heat it up a bit to get out them bubbles. And once it looks good to me, we're gonna get ready to put it in the lamp. Now, I have some bubbles up here, so I'm just gonna stir it a little more because sometimes this big chunky glitter will have a lot of bubbles. It's just something that'll happen, but it's okay because resin rockers is really good resin. And once you stir it up again and put the fire on it, the bubbles are gone. All right, let's put this bad boy in the lamp. We're going to cure it for 60 to 90 seconds. I also like to put my utensils in the lamp or my bowl if I'm ready to put it in there, but I'm not ready to put that in there yet because I might use it for something else. Now, once it's done from the lamp, you're going to take it out and you're going to Flip it over, and we're gonna cure it again. 60 to 90 seconds. Now, once it's done, you're gonna pull it out and be careful. Sometimes it may be too hot, so you might need to let it cool for a second. Test it. It's good, let's demold. Now, sometimes it still may be a little bit soft to touch, that's okay, as long as it's not sticky. Now, if it's still kind of bendy, let's put it back in the lamp for a few more seconds. Well, when I say a few, I mean like 30 to 60. Now, once it's done, take your tool out, clean off the resin that was on the tip. It just comes right off. Throw that away, of course. Clean workstation. <laughs> and we're gonna take out our resin dog tag. Here it is. Now, once it's completely done curing, I just realized the whole time I didn't have the light on it. But anyways, once it's done curing, we are going to now, this is the time when you can add a name or charms or whatever you want, really. It's up to I'm you. I'm going to use some of that resin from earlier. And I'm just going to get my tool. And I'm going to, so mine, I'm going to put a name on it, but not with my Cricut. But you can definitely do that. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. But I'm going to try something different here today. And I'm going to put a name on it with some letters I have over here. And see how it goes. Last time I tried to use these, it didn't work out so well. Uh, and yeah, this is how it's going so far. So wish me luck. <laughs> TV magic coming in three, two, one.
there you go. So now once we got the name on there with a little bit of resin on it, why did I touch that? Now I messed it up a bit, but anyways, okay. So well, you get my drift. We're gonna put it back in the lamp and cure it. 30 seconds. Also gonna clean off my tool. Let it cure. And once it gets done, we'll take it out. We're gonna take it out. Good to go. All right, now you could stop there or you could keep going. I've got a couple flowers here and we're gonna use these and we're gonna add these on as well. So we're gonna use the same technique. We're going to use a little resin, dip it in there, a little tiny dab of it. And we're gonna put some where we want the flowers to be. I'm going to put one there. Well, maybe I'll put three like that. Now let's do some down here. Now, of course, you can do it however you want. It's completely up to you. And then what the hey, I'm feeling flowery. Let's add some more. Let's do this three like we did on the other side because I like symmetrical, kind of. <laughs> and let's do two down here. And let's try to do it like we did that one. All right, that looks good, doesn't it? Let's see. Well, the flower's a little off, but that's okay. Put it back in the lamp. Oh, jeez, if I can. Once it's done, we're gonna take it out. So now I know why I don't use those letters, because everything I do is crooked. You guys will get to know that about me. Um, sometimes I have to redo things a billion times because everything's crooked. Maybe my eyes are Now, crooked. you could stop there. But we ain't going to. We're going to go big or go home. And we're going to top coat. Now, it. when you're top coating, this is my favorite tool. And I will tell you, this does and will. Or maybe it won't. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't take you. But it took me practice. It took me a while to get this. So, we are going to carefully let all the bubbles pop out first. <laughs> and we're going to put some here, 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 here. And along the middle here, not a lot, because you don't want this to overrun on your tag. You don't want it to be running off the sides, nothing like that. Um, you want to put just enough. And then we're gonna use this tool here. This is why you really need this, to carefully spread it to the outer edge. <clears throat> and it will dome it. Okay, so see, I'm just carefully dragging it along the top, I mean, ever so lightly. Now, once you get it all spread out, you kind of want to even lean to the side a bit because you want to see the light glare over the shape of it to make sure that you didn't miss any spots. I think I might've missed a spot right here. Here's what it looks like in the lamp. I know it's a bit hard to see. Oh, there it's done. So now we're gonna take it out. And this is what I was talking about. You see that glare over that? That is what I'm talking about when I'm saying you're looking at the dog tag. I know it's blurry. To make sure that you didn't miss any spots, okay? And that's how you get that super cool domed, shiny top coat. I mean, it's perfect. Look at that. <laughs> 